Okay, so here we now have another example which is um, a lot bigger than in terms of number of pairs uh, that we had in the previous example, but no matter how big it is, um, you should always go through the same exact process. So, start with our B, B, C, comp. So, Okay, just to double check, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of our entire AB. So, let's ask ourselves what would be the BC for this first 1, 1. And obviously, we have 1, 1, as well as these three others. So, 1, 2. one three and one four so this is definitely an example of you know a, a relation that you might be analyzing um, where you know you might you, you're never going to know or you might not see off the top of your head how wide your BC column is going to be so that's why I say it's really good practice to wait until you know exactly what the widest um, BC row or you know row as far as the BC column goes uh, is going to be until you finally make your AC column so like I said we have four here so two you can see down here that there are one two three that begin with two so we're going to go ahead and do two two and I apologize for my handwriting in certain cases um, hopefully you can decipher what I've written. Okay, three, we have three, three, and three, four. Three, four, okay. And now four, that one's easy, just four, four down at the bottom. Two, we have, just as we had before, we have two, 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 three, Two, four, two, three. We have three, 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 four. Yep, <clears throat> four. It's just four, four, three. Once again, is three, 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 four, four. It's just four, four, and once again, even though it's redundant, we have four, four. So just take a quick second. Um, hopefully, you can replay the video um, and see that you have everything. You have the same exact thing that I do. If you want to do this on your own, or in the very least, you understand um, where I got all of these pairs. Um, so double check. Everything seems to be good. Okay, so now I think we can move on to our final AC column. Okay, so uh, just to save some time, um, I decided to go ahead and do the AC column for myself. Um, but just like we've done in the past two examples, um, you should go and compare all your BC items with your AB item for any particular column. And then once you have what the implied AC would be over here in this column. You should look down to see if any of the a if they do belong in the relation. So, as you see here, one one and one one together makes one one, which is right here, obviously because it is the AB in question, so it's definitely in the relation. One one and one two makes one two. We have it down here. One one and one three makes one three, which we have down here, and one four and one one makes one four. And 
once again, it is. It, um, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but it is important to consider. Um, and if you want to go back in the other examples and do and uh, go through this as well, um, uh, that whenever keyword, um, you should keep that in mind um, when you're looking at your BC column because whenever also means that for however many BC pairs that you have, you should have the exact number of AC columns because each BC when considered with AB has to have its own AC in order for it to be transitive. So in this first row we have four, there should be four ACs. In the second one we have three, there should be three. We have one, two here, we have one, two AC. There's just one here, there's just one there. So as you go all the way down, as we're, as we're going to go all the way down with this example, you should take note that they should all have corresponding numbers of BC pairs and AC pairs. So 1, 2, and 2, 2 makes 1, 2, which is right here. 1, 2, and 2, 3 makes 1, 3. And 1, 2, and 2, 4 makes 1, 4. Which are all here. 1, 3, and 3, 3 makes 1, 3, which is the same, which is the AB. And 1, 3, and 3, 4 makes 1, 4, which is right below. 2, 2. 2, 2, and 2, 2 makes itself. 2, 2, and 2, 3 makes 2, 3. And 2, 2, and 2, 4 makes 2, 4. 2, 3, and 3, 3 makes 2, 3, which right here, 2, 3, and 3, 4 makes 2, 4. 2, 4, and 4, 4 just makes 2, 4, which is itself, which is right here. So that belongs in the AC column. 3, 3, and 3, 3 makes itself, just like we have with the 1, 1 up here. That goes right there. And then 3, 3, and 3, 4 uh, makes 3, 4, which is right below here. So 3, 4, and 4, 4 itself make 3, 4, which is itself, and 4, 4, and 4, 4, obviously, just like we've had with 1, 1, and 3, 3, makes 4, 4, which is right here. And so, because of that, we've gone all the way through the relation, and it's A, B, B, C, and A, C pairs. We can declare that this one is transitive. And unlike the example just before this one, this one might be a little bit easier to comprehend because every single one has at le every single uh, AB that is has at least one BC pair. So there's no need to panic with the question of oh well there's there's no BC so what do I do? So in this case you can definitely say you can definitely go through every single one on every single row and determine that every single implied AC pair belongs in the relation. If you wanted to look here, go back to the original relation, you can see that they're all they all do belong to the relation. Okay, so um, I think that is a good handful of examples for you guys. Um, if you'd like to uh, comment or contact me in any way if, uh, talking about other tutoring videos or any mistakes I might have made or any comments or anything you want to add, um, please do so. In